Hi, my name is Neil Dawson. I'm a, an artist here in Calgary. Um, I've got a science background in geology and biology, but uh, latterly giving a bit more expression to my artwork. I typically work in acrylics on wood or on canvas. Um, watercolour is something I've always loved as well. Um, there'll be a few of those in the show. And recently I'm getting into uh, block printing and, and etching with uh, plexiglass. So most of the subject matter is broad, very, very Catholic type view, whatever takes my interest. I don't mean Catholic in terms of religion. Um, but uh, people always interest me. Um, portraits, portraiture, people doing what they're doing, um, whether it's a hockey player or a person working in a kitchen in a restaurant. And then this chap here is um, a jockey down at uh, Millerville Racetrack. People doing Calgarian type stuff, and typically with nice contrasting sunlight. Um, that, that pleases me. Calgary is a very brightly lit place, and it's a, because of the high altitude and the lovely sunshine. So there's inherently a lot of contrast. Shadows are dark, brights are bright, lights are light. And I find that a really nice distinctive um, feature of Calgary. The colour always pleases me and I think it's, uh, it's essential to get that sense of place. And I think where my science view is I try and be as accurate as I can but obviously sometimes you kind of pop things up to make it jump and the contrast is what gives you the, that's the place to put your detail is where things contrast say from the top of a tree line into the uh, sky. Um, if you're in an area in a painting with not as much contrast then that's not the place to put the effort. So you've got to figure out your contrasting points and your focal points. Sort of elevating the mundane to something that's a bit more interesting. And it's, uh, the mundane is interesting, so it's a big function of what I like to see in life. It's a bit of a visual diary for me. My father had me drawing when I was about two, so I've always drawn. So uh, with, as a child, you know, when you go to your parent, I'm bored, and my, I was always given paper and pencil, and my dad would draw me something and say, copy it, so um, that's where it started. I, and I kept going with that through my life. Um, never followed art as a, actually I was in grade nine, and I had a very enthusiastic art teacher who completely put me off art. And, um, but I kept out cat, it's always satisfied me when, when I've wanted something to do, so. Um, it's like when people say to you, how many, how long does it take you to do this piece? Now, I now say about mm, 65 years, because I think it's a, it's a very trite question of how long does it take you to do something. Sometimes, sometimes you'll do something that takes two or three minutes, but of course it's, it's a culmination of all the effort you've put into your work. Uh, so I keep a four inch by six inch sketchbook with me. Um, the iPhone is an incredible asset, I've got to admit, um, but I do like to try and draw live when I was living in the UK, that's where I introduced myself to live drawing and uh, getting the discipline of getting something down as opposed to worrying about what you get down. Um, that's, that's really the, the break, that was the breakthrough for me was actually spending a couple of years commuting on a train and drawing, drawing people on the train. So, But I've got to admit, I mean, you know, my work comes from a combination of photographic reference material and from um, from my own scribbles. I've, I've have shown at um, Blue Rock Gallery south of town at the Leighton Centre and so I've been sort of, I have been active but um, my objective in the next little while here is to crank up how active I am and put more effort into things.